Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. You know, it's funny, you go through those different weeks and those different times in your life. Like last week, I was just exhausted and felt so tired. And though I think the allergens in the air were just kicking me and I just felt like, I just gotta get through my day. And so you have those weeks and thankful for the rest, thankful for the time. And then the next week it's like, boom, you're right back to busy life. And that's a good thing. Thankful for rest. Aren't you thankful for rest? Aren't you thankful that God gives us rest? I love the verse that says, he gives his beloved rest because he does. You turn your problems to him, you turn your worries to him, he will just help you rest get the, the sleep you need and that's a beautiful thing sometimes you go through seasons where you don't sleep very good i know i've gone through them and then it's like when you do get to it's like okay what a beautiful thing to be able to rest shut things off from the world and just like okay have some quiet it's a great thing is it not a great thing it's a beautiful thing we did a we had a good night last night we ended up going for another ride love those silly scooters <laughs> just drove around found a little neighborhood and it has like these bunch of woods and just like little like just nooks and crannies and a big lake to go riding through and it was just like peaceful it's like the beach and just having quiet place like the, even though the beach just got people and it's loud the waves just like make everything like it blocks out the noises so it's just calming and peaceful i feel like the mountains do that too like when you're in nature and you're in you know with the rivers and the waterfalls and it's like you can just sit there and it's just like peaceful and it's calming i mean when you're in the mountains you gotta like watch you know for animals and stuff <laughs> so i feel like you're always on high alert but <laughs> if you're in a good place you know a place where there's a lot of people it's like it's just beautiful to be able to like okay just enjoy some quiet you know get out in the woods that's why you're having like craziness it's like it is so good just to get out get out in nature and i find like being in florida here there's not i mean we have the ocean obviously but there's not a like a lot of obviously woods and you know forests things like that there is you just got to go find them and then i see that the parks just have a lot of like walking paths by water and just trees and it's like it's if there's something about just getting out in the creation and just going okay and some people have like way more and some people have way less and i know we've had both and so it's getting out and experiencing that yeah it's a good thing living like we don't live in like in a very we live a little more like the country considered for florida but like um i mean not really country outskirts of the city i guess is the word so i know people that live like right in city city like city apartment live in city that i can see like losing that and not having that and you feel whatever your situation is but like try to get out try to find some little nature place some little nature spot it just it does something for your soul it's like it refreshes inside of you it's a beautiful beautiful thing so we had a good time last night and so today i had to get up and film a few um bible things for my other channel and i'm like okay i need to get a list i did a lot of editing yesterday and so today is my plan to kind of figure out what kind of foods we can have for the month based on what we have because we have a lot of food a lot of food it's almost like i went shopping i pretty much did i was like we did that discount store trip and i was like wow that was a, i mean it was i want to say four i think it was four hundred dollars at that store and i was like but that's a lot of food there was a a lot of like meats and a lot of you know things that we can use so i'm like hmm i made a list already i don't know last week of monthly food menu and then i'm like i need to go back now and look and see what we have so i can write it down to make sure that we intentionally make those things that's what we're going to do today we got to do that today we got to do some food today you know we're gonna have to eat we have to do a lot of things i gotta put together i got a, a box sitting on my ground here of um a container to stick our vacuums in for the pool to hide them and it's gonna be a good day all around i think we're gonna have rain who knows the wind is blowing it says temperatures dropping which i think dropping is 78 degrees <laughs> but it shows rain so we'll see how the day rolls so we're gonna have a great day you ready for a great day we're gonna get something done we're gonna do something today i'm gonna make my menu my menu for the month hopefully get through a grocery list as well it's gonna be great are you ready all right let's go encouragement i'm giving you some encouragement for the day because i feel like everybody 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 needs encouragement i everybody needs it you need it the grumpy person needs it the angry person needs it the happy person needs it the person that is just blatantly mean needs it people that say they don't need anybody that they're all self-independent they don't need blah, blah blah they don't need god they need it we all need it so this comes from isaiah 40 verse 31 it's but they who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint mm, that's a good verse that's a i think a, a well-known scripture and i think of that a lot and i think of like the ones that we're waiting upon the lord we're, we're praying for we're believing for and trusting if we got to stay focused and trust him and not let all these voices come in our head not let people come in your head and just focus on that and says you're going to be able to run and not get weary you're going to be able to keep going that's why you can see people 
it, I think it's rare. Like I've met people, like just seen them in my life and just, they just are joyful and they're just happy, genuinely happy. And it's like you learn their story and you learn what they're going through and you're like, wow, how can they go through such traumatic thing? And it doesn't mean they didn't have seasons and times in their life where they went through those things, but you go, you know why? Because they have Jesus. Because they have Jesus in them. They know that, you know what, they're going to be okay. And God is going to get them through situations because they're going to keep pushing forward, pushing through. That's why you see people do things and working a bunch of jobs or doing things where you think you shouldn't have to do those things, but they do because you go, wow, God gives them the grace to get that done so that they can be successful in their life, get what they need to get done, and he's going to do good in their life. <laughs> so this is all about patience today. <laughs> patience. How can we cultivate patience when we're waiting? And, and, and not that we're waiting on God. It's more like God's waiting on us. I have found like when I and praying for things or want things to happen in my life or that God says, you know, that I'm, that I'm to have. And like, if I become anxious about them and I constantly think about them or I keep thinking, oh, angry this or keep thinking the wrong thought, they don't happen. But as soon as I like surrender that thought to God and almost like, almost blindly, like whatever, just it can, whatever, I'm not even going to think about it. It's like, then God does that in your life. And I feel like it's like a test. It's like, God, God will keep giving you a test over and over again. It's not even a test. It's just us not responding to how he wants you to act. He wants an act meaning think. Like when you, he wants you to have faith in things. So it's almost like you, you learn that little step and you're like, oh, wow, I learned that. And then, okay, and then God does something. And then it's like, but the ones that don't, you like have to constantly go back. And the good thing about God is he'll let you do that test over and over. And it's, I say test, it's not a test. Trial, whatever. Situation, life, he'll help you learn that over and over and over just like a person, right? If you're working at a job and you like someone tells you what you're supposed to do and you don't do it, you're going to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. But when you finally listen and do what you're supposed to do and you go, oh, wow, well, that was so much easier. Oh, wow, look at how that worked out good. You passed the test. You know what to do for next time. Same thing with God. And it's not a test. I don't want to say test because I don't like saying like God test us to do. It's just more of he's showing us the way. Like we all need that. We all need that. That's why we watch videos. That's why we see other people cooking. That's why we see other people cleaning. We want to learn different ways. We want to see different things. We want to learn how to become better at things in our life. So God, same way. So how can we cultivate patience in those seasons in our life where we're like, okay, God, I'm trusting you in all of this. Today, you're going to cultivate patience where normally you feel rushed in those situations. Like where you feel very harried, like you have a lot to get done. I've done, I did that very much just this week. I, the weekend it was like, I did some stuff on Friday and it was like the holiday weekend and I had a lot of things to do. The house is a mess. I just had tons of things and I just felt very anxious and very much like on edge. And you know, Greg was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I just feel very out of sorts. I feel like I need to get my house in order, which I can let the house sit. I can. My bathroom, my bedroom's a mess right now. Mess. Never did that before. Always cleaned it. Always had it nice and neat. It's a mess right now. <laughs> I'm like, you just feel like things are accumulating with like things to get done, you know, and I didn't have a lot of our food for the weekend because I didn't do any cooking on Friday except our deep fried donuts. And so it's like feeling that and then I just had to, okay, you know what? It's all going to get done eventually. Like what? And if it doesn't, who cares? Who cares? We can do something simple. And we did. We did do simple. And you know what? We ate and it was fine and it was wonderful. And so letting go of that, having that anxiety of like, okay, we're going to get done. It's going to get done eventually. So if you have a list and your list, my list is very short. Too. It's only like this big. If you have a list, and it's like a mile long and you're like, oh my goodness, how many? Okay. Stop focusing on your list. Just go, you know what? If I can mark off a few things, awesome. If you can't, that's okay. If you are like a young mom or even old mom, it doesn't have to be young. If you've got kids to take care of and you have a list a mile long, okay. Take care of those babies. That's your most important thing. And then like, I know for me, I would make a big giant list and then I'd go, you know what, I really want to do this. And then it was something like deep cleaning something and cleaning the windows or whatever. And you know what? You realize that sometimes you can't get to that list and then you go, you know what? It's okay. And then the next week comes by and it's like, oh, okay, no big deal. Still have dirty windows. Does it really matter? No, because my other important priorities are done first. And so sometimes you realize whatever, that, that dirty window can sit there for months. Who cares? It's not going to affect anything except a little dirty window. <laughs> And maybe you'll mark that off and not even worry about doing it and just keep focusing on different things in your life. So just get what you can do to get done. Be patient in the storms. You feel a little anxious about things? Okay, what do I need to relax about and just do? Sometimes it might be a physical problem with some um, physical condition where you feel like you want to do all this stuff and you can't. But what can you do to release that anxiety, 
and do things. And then you know what? The next day do something. And then the next day do something. I always talk about doing things in chunks. Like if you have a huge deep clean, you want to deep clean your kitchen. Yeah, I can do this all in one day. I could get it all done in one day. But if I had real life, like I have to do school and kids and running and all that stuff, sometimes I can't. So then I say, okay, I'm just going to focus on cleaning the drawers up. And, but some, for some of you, it might be cleaning one drawer up. That might be enough for your day. Just do one drawer, but you have one drawer. And then you know what? Work for a half hour tomorrow, do another drawer. And by the end of the week, five days, you'll have, and for a half hour each day, you'll have five drawers done in your kitchen that you would have never even started doing if you didn't start doing something. So I always took off time in my days when I had a lot of little kids, I would set aside about 45 minutes in the afternoon after nap time because I would have to take a nap because I was so tired. And then I would just focus on getting like something done, whatever it was. And I'm only gonna work for 45 minutes. When that 45 minutes is up, I'm finished. Okay, I'll start it another day. Move my projects aside, we'll continue going on. And you know what, eventually it got done. So just little by little, my father-in-law used to say, how do you eat an elephant, Amy? And I'm like, eat an elephant, I would not eat an elephant. He's like, how would you eat an elephant? You take it, I'm like, I guess a bite at a time. He's like, exactly, one bite at a time. So do your project one bite at a time. Eventually you'll get done. If you start with something, you'll get done with a bunch of it. Same thing for exercise, losing weight, all those things. It's overwhelming, you get older, things happen, it's harder, I get it. You know what, one bite at a time. And don't be frustrated, just take it one bite at a time. You'll get there, so that's your encouragement. Patience through the anxiety things of the day. Okay, so let's go into our, I'm thinking to go through, I've already got a list of food, pretty much the same kind of stuff we have. Let's go look at our different cupboards and our fridge, let's do the freezer first, and see what we have and see what we have to kind of eat up and use up and that'll be a good basis for our menu for the month. Okay, let's come out to our handy trusty garage freezer with all the stickers off it. You start, these things are like impossible to get off. I just goo on. I started scratching it and then I was like, I'm done. I'm like, it's in the garage. You don't see it. <laughs> it's a freezer. Let's open our freezer. Look at how full the freezer is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff in our freezer. So I'm very thankful for that. A lot of stuff on the door. I have a lot of, I still have, like energy bites like gents the kids went through phases where they ate these like it was every month we make those and i made these months ago probably six months ago and so um i just jensen really likes them so he found them and he's like oh yeah i like those and so i'm like let's make sure we get eat those up so he is i've got butter i got ice out here too all of my soups are there with topping i was looking for that and didn't have any we have a lot of bread like texas toast and stuff so when i have spaghetti and stuff i'll make sure to eat that up and then into the freezer here so for food I know I have like all the chicken wings. Yeah, chicken wings. We're gonna have a staple chicken wing. So lots of chicken wings. So my list is already boom full. So I'm gonna kind of just make some little ones in here. We are gonna have a lot of chicken wings. I have um, a lot of the chicken, I say nuggets, but they're like the breaded chicken balls in there. We can have pizza. We have got, I think it's just so full. I've got, still got two sticks. I'm trying to get any drum kits. I don't think this is my popsicles. We still have a lot of popsicles. I've only got two little bags of fresh chicken, so I'll probably actually just do another list on my grocery list. Get some more, um, and I see Parmesan cheese. Let me, let me make a little grocery list. Parmesan cheese, I'll probably get some. I won't get drumsticks because I have a lot of these. So we'll focus on those for this month when we deep fry and do delicious, but I will get some fresh chicken. I only have two bags, so I won't get, like last month I got six. I won't need six. And then um, we've got, one, two of, this is the fajita meat. A little bag on here. Let's see, oh actually there's three fajita meat. I'm just putting this here so I can see what I got. Fajita meat, so I've, I still have freezer meal. Tammy's enchilada, this is still here. So I've got a lot of kielbasa back there. I have ribs too, so I need to make sure. So I see we have steak, I'm going to do a steak dinner. We have ribs, and we have a lot of kielbasa. Hot dogs, we definitely love hot dogs. And again, I don't mind getting extra because um, good to have a little bit on hand and we will eat it. I think I got beef pieces in the back. I do for like burrito bowls. So this is good. So this is all hamburger. So I have a lot of hamburger in here. I won't mind worry about getting hamburger because that's full. Let me look down here. This is going to be potatoes. I have a lot of shredded potatoes. So we have so much shredded potatoes. So that is going to be on my list to like make a ton of shredded potato something. And those little fingerlings I do a lot of potatoes. It's going to be a lot of potatoes. And we have this huge ham down here, so we're gonna definitely make a ham. I'm gonna cook the whole big ham, separate it for different meals. We have poor boy subs. We've got poor boy subs in here. Let me mark that down. They have tons of potatoes. I know the bottom is full of potatoes, so we have we have much. Oops. Much food, plenty for meals. Let's go over to let's see our refrigerator freezer here. 
as I still have potatoes in here, I have onions, I have, I have butter in a bag, I didn't my cooking butter. We've got, we went through all that hot sauce. I'm definitely, we went through a, almost a tired jug of hot sauce, isn't that crazy? So I'll be ordering more hot sauce. I've got a lot of sour cream in here. We bought this. I know the date is still good. We still have three things of ranch, so I won't eat ranch. We've got bologna in here. We've got lots of coffee creamer because, you know, blueberry coffee creamer, this does not go bad for a long time. The date is like months in ahead, so I don't mind having it in there. I've got a lot of lactose milk and sour cream. Okay, so that's it for in here. That means these potatoes up. I was gonna make shepherd's pie and did not do that. And I think we pretty much have, oh, we have the chalupa things. So we, I'm gonna look it up. Chalupas are probably really good for pizzas. You know, like in the air fryer for a simple, easy lunch. Hey, chalupa pizzas. Sometimes it's good when it's hot out. I have a ton of veggies in here. I know I need none. The only thing I do like is peas and carrots. Let me write that down, peas and carrots. I know we have a ton of snacks still. This, um, I think in our cupboard, they open all the way. Yeah, we have a lot of, we have a lot of Cheerios, so there'll be a lot of cereal up here. Tons of cereal, but that'll last for a long time. We have one thing of chips and one Dorito. I like to get, when we do tacos, like Doritos crushed, so I'll probably get, and I'll just actually put it on my grocery list, Doritos, fake ones. I'll put fakey. Um, I don't even need to plan it, we have tons of these. We have these for a long time, we like this with chicken salad, this is good, we have like a lot of cauliflower chips, a lot of tortillas. Yes, we have a lot of tortillas. Doing wrap, we haven't done wraps in a long time. We used to do wraps a lot. Maybe we'll put wraps on the list. Instead of doing like, um, working everything else. Instead of doing like poor boy subs, maybe do some wraps instead. We have a lot of popcorn. Let's go right here. This is just the can cupboard. I know I have a ton of food in here. So this is going to be more like my staple cupboard. So in here, I know I'll, I'll come back and like think about restock. But I have, what do we have in here to use? The one thing I don't have is um, curry. I want to make sure I get some more curry and the coconut milk, coconut cream. Hopefully, I've ordered it on Amazon last time. I'll see if our store has it. So we have a lot of, what do we have in here? Do we have dressing? All right, peanut butter. About two nacho cheese, we didn't even do nacho cheese at all. Perfect. We got lots. The good thing about having a stocked pantry is you just kind of look and see. I'm just looking to see like what extras we have that I haven't been using. Like, I know if I open this cupboard up, let me come over here. Let me go in here and look. I will look at this stuff and go, like that general, I bought this, general soy chicken. And then I never made it because I made sweet sour chicken. So I know when I make sweet sour chicken, which I have on here, I'm sure, with egg rolls, and then I'll do a general, so maybe a sesame? Maybe a honey, honey chicken. That would be really good. And I think I've got tons of packets stuff. Let's see what we got in here. I know we've got that. I've got the vegetable mix for spinach dip. I've got sesame seeds. I've got the nasi goreng. We can have nasi goreng all day long if we need to. This is really easy with rice, kavasa, and veggies. Love that. I've got a couple extra. My viewers sent me extra. I just don't know how to cook it. We've got a lot of these. We can have a lot of breakfast things. Okay, perfect. Like spices and stuff that doesn't really bother me too much on things of what I need. I know there's like tempura batter, but I'll do that for my chicken. Um, the only thing, what did I, I have, I think that's it, right? Lots of breadcrumbs, more bread stuff. So nothing extra. Soup, it's kind of hot for soup, but I really want to do, I've been wanting to do like a, the broccoli cheesy soup because that's so, so good. So I'll probably, maybe I'll even do some soups. For, maybe i do potato soup. Jensen really likes potato soup. Hmm. I should make potato soup with my stuff for today even. Let me write that down. Potato soup. We could do cheesy broccoli soup too. It's like hot Florida, who wants soup? We do. And let me look at my, um, this is like my baking sort of cupboard area just so I can kind of look and see what I have. <laughs> like I still have Oreos. The kids would probably love fried Oreos once again. And then after, remember yesterday I looked in here, I know I have a lot of pasta for sure. Let me see here. So after, after looking through my whole menu, I'm like, it's pretty much the same kind of stuff we've had for the last few months. So I added a few extra, like I had, I just Googled what to do with chopped M&Ms because I have those M&Ms and I already chopped them for the ice cream. No, that wasn't very, <laughs> it wasn't very good. Then we can put them on ice cream, but I'm like, what can I do with those? So I thought there was just Google, I mean, thinking, cause you know, you're tired and you're like, what do you, just like M&M bars. I'm like, M&M bars, I could throw those in there. No one would even care if they were all chopped up or not. So that was an idea. The tiny shells, I have that tiny shells pasta. My family is not big on cold pasta. They like the macaroni salad, but not 
I haven't made like an Italian dish in a while. So I did write that down. Do you like, remember like back in the day it was um, Italian, or not Italian, yeah, it was Italian dressing with spaghetti noodles and veggies. So I did write that down, but I have all those tiny shells from Jensen's Mac and Cheese. So I thought, what can I do with that? So I just Googled. So there was like a creamy beef, which and then I'm like, I haven't made just a simple casserole in a long time, like at all. Isn't that crazy? Like, yeah, you go through those, you go through seasons, you go through times. I go through everything. You watch my videos, what we eat, what we do, different things in life. And I'm like, I used to make casseroles. We used to do that an awful lot. And just don't do it as much or we just choose a few. So I wrote that down to, to make up and then, um, the pineapple, been wanting to do something with that pineapple. So there was a recipe when I was a kid and it was a pineapple bar recipe. And uh, my friend's mom made it. It was basically like a crust, it had a crust. And then the filling, it was like, it was um, crushed pineapple, but it was almost like, um, cr not creamy, but just like you tasted the pineapple. I wouldn't even know how to explain like a fruit, like a thicker filling. And then there was like a, a powdered sugar icing on top. So I think I found a recipe. The lady is from another country. I can't, I Googled it. I've Googled it and searched and searched and searched. Have not been able to find at all, like at all, because it's like one of those good recipes. I'm like, can I remember? My Amish books don't have it nowhere. And so I found one lady and she's from another country. So it's all translated. So I'm hopeful I can make it because that was, it was so good. I still remember eating those as a kid going, wow, this is delicious. So I wrote that down. I picked up last month, remember I wanted like, a there was a coconut cake I saw. In my head, I thought I picked up coconut flavoring when I saw it, obviously I did not because I don't see it anywhere. But I remember going to like Publix and I'm like, oh, let me grab coconut for the coconut cake that I did not make. <laughs> so yeah, coconut. So I'm thinking a coconut cake, we can make a mix up. You know, we can always make cupcakes. Those kind of things are always good to do. And so, and then when I was in Michigan last year, my mother-in-law made a, um, like I go through, like I take snapshots, I take reminders of recipes, all these things. And sometimes they sit on my phone forever. And sometimes I never use them. And then I'll transfer them to my laptop. Like I don't keep much on my phone at all. And I'll transfer it to my laptop. And I have like a folder that's specifically called recipe ideas. And they are from recipes. Like I would get magazines. I take a snapshot. I would go to the library back in the mountains and I would order tons of cookbooks and I would just sit there and flip through them and I'd take snapshots of all different things that looked good. So over the years, when I sit and have no time, you know, I don't have no time. When I have time, I'll kind of weed out those and go through them and go, oh, in reality, I'm never going to make that and I'll delete it. Taste of Home was huge. My mom had so many. She probably, she still has, they're all, and I know she has tons of Taste of Home magazines. She would come visit and she would bring me like boxes, boxes, mind you, of Taste of Home magazines because she would get them all the time. And so I would go through and I'd just take snapshots and i pass the books on to Lauren so she could look through them and see if there was anything she wanted from there. But I know she's got a ton more. I know she does. <laughs> and so even when I was there, um, even the last time I took her cookbook is what I did and I took and um, took snapshots out of it and then passed it to the girls so they could have her cookbook if they wanted some things on it. But I know there's just tons, tons of recipes. And so over the years you keep them and then like, do you ever do anything with them? No, we used to, back in the day, we used to do binders. I don't even know if people do those anymore. You make a homemaker binder. I didn't really have a whole f official binder. I mean, women would do awesome and like print off things. To me that cost money to print off. So I would just write it on notebook paper. <laughs> so I would have, different, um, we would get magazines a lot. So then I would just, this is before phones, all those things you would take and those recipes and put them in that binder. And then like, you know, take a uh, paper hole punch, you know, the three paper hole punch, take those and then put those in there according to different recipes you wanted to try. You had a ton of stuff in your binder. You had ideas for playing with your kids. You had ideas for quick meals. You had ideas. It was, it was a great thing. The homemaker binder. We should bring back the homemaker binder. I mean, there is, it's right here on your phone nowadays. So homemaker binder is here. <laughs> You can just get ideas like just Google, oh, this idea. But instead of spending hours on there, you just got to spend hours with your family. <laughs> it was just a different thing back then. But recipes. So I just was kind of going through it the other day, looking up stuff, and I'm like, I forgot that. So my mother-in-law, back to the original story, she mixed, she served with our one of our um, dinners a simple salad, and it was cucumbers and tomatoes and like an Italian dressing. And But I was like, it was so simple, but it was so good. But in that, she put this stuff, and it was Salad Supreme. Um, I think it's Salad Supreme. I don't even know what it's called. Shake Salad Topper or something? I wrote it down. I can't even read my own writing. And, and I'm sure you could mimic and mock, mimic and mock it and make that same little recipe. But I'm going to get some of that because she added it to her Italian salad dressing, and it was really, really good. So I'm thinking to get some of that. And then I have a ton of orzo in my 
like cupboard over there from like the mountains from like a years ago and so different ideas just different ideas breakfast breakfast's always the same like you pretty much have the same breakfast foods on everything so i'm like and then i just wrote down a few ideas for fun things like i still want to do homemade pretzels i still want to make homemade bagels but after looking in my freezer we found bagels for a dollar fifty i'm like you can't even buy the flour for a dollar fifty i'm like it's cheaper to buy them make them or buy them from there so i have ideas i have things and one of my viewers and she gave me an idea for um we did, I want to say it was the tempura batter, and um, Aaron, you told me to do it in broccoli and cauliflower, and I did it in broccoli, and we didn't like it. Well, that's because I didn't season the coating very well, so I pretty much threw that whole thing away. That was our fault. It's new, so she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, 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 that's not your fault. That's me. I cooked it wrong. So um, Aaron, or not Aaron, Anne gave me a recipe. It's a, um, I can't remember which, did she say it's Scottish? I'll have to look up the email. It's called pakora batter, P-A-K-O-R-A. Basically, it's flour with cumin, turmeric, chili powder, and um, the, what is the other one? I wrote it down, the gasm, it's not all, gaza, it's not all, the mar marum something? I don't even know what it is, I have to look it up because I don't have it. But, and then she um, dipped it in mushrooms, cauliflower, and broccoli and deep fried it would be good because then it would just give flavor to it so i'm like yeah there you go so i'd like to try that again when we do a deep frying day because you know deep frying days are great as well so i got tons i've got a whole plan here i did this last month and some of it we didn't use so this is good so now what i'll do this is my printed off list right here so what i will do is um go through this and kind of see if there's anything like i will look at this is how you do your grocery or this is how i do mine i'll look at like i look at my top one i have popovers better version i found a, a version with cayenne pepper and mustard what i know i think it'd be good so in my head i go do i have cayenne yeah do i have mustard yeah i would write down what i don't need have for that recipe when i copy things down like if i wrote um chicken patties like in my head i know that the chicken patties require certain spices i already have all those spices in my pantry it was just ground chicken so i wrote ground chicken because that'd be the only thing i need in buns because i haven't made buns yet you can make them so different like just that that's what i would just write down what i would need for it so i'm just going to look at this real quick and see if there's anything on here extra like i know that i don't have and put it on here and then we'll go through and see if we have anything in a freezer Okay, back to cupboard once again. <laughs> you can do this all in one step, but I'm gonna look in here and just look at my list and see what I need to replenish. Maxine's here. Hello! She just woke up from her sleep. Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Did you go outside? Did you go outside? She's like, no, I want to get my treat. You're outside. You want to go outside for a little bit? She's like, look at her. She's like, she wants her treat. Which is like, you want your treat first? Okay, let's do backwards. Let's do She's smart. She knows, get my treat first, and then I'll think about using the bathroom outside. It's so windy. I just looked at my pool, and my grow cover was in the pool. Crazy weather is just, uh, we had came in, what did we move here, in June? And it wasn't like it was just breezy, but nice, like ocean breeze, beautiful. And so we really haven't had crazy, even hurricane. Like, when we had the hurricane, it was like no worse than like 
a mountain storm on the top of a mountain with you know lightning on top of your head so um different so now spring is like crazy windy here I'm coming to realize that. Okay, I think I got a list. I think I gotta go in my bathroom and check those kind of supplies. Everything's a mess. <laughs> Bedroom's messy. Let's zoom in. Bathroom's messy. I'm like looking in here. I'm like, oh my goodness, there's stuff everywhere. So just a quick look at like, I know we don't need paper towels. We use those a lot, but probably next month. Toilet paper. Um, yeah, you always can use toilet paper. That's one of those things that gets used up all the time here. So we've got a lot of sunscreen. So I just have to clean this hand cleaner it's funny we're actually down on hand cleaner which is really weird we went years and haven't had to buy hand cleaner so like maybe a big bottle of hand cleaner i haven't bought hand cleaner in a long time so let me write that down like a refillable thing because we have a ton of that i got an extra lotion we got soap this is again this everything just thrown in here it's like a mess we got lots of hair stuff which is good i think i of shampoos and everything okay so out of shampoo so i have to look at walmart I need to hit a different Walmart because when I went to the one at the town that I never usually go to, they had a ton of like good shampoo for guys and girls. So I'm going to have to get some of that. We've got a ton of mouthwash, lots of toothbrushes. I think we're going to get out of toothpaste. Absolutely. So we're going to, I mean, we have three toothpaste. It goes through real quick. These are band-aids in a big giant pile. Um, deodorant. Okay. I need to order deodorant. We like the, um, aluminum free one from secret amazon has it cheaper than walmart does so i have that here's a guys one i'll probably get some guys stuff just to you know i want to run on deodorant and q-tips we have a huge thing q-tips cleaners i'm still i still have a ton of cleaners we have a lot of cleaners we still have the big bottle that i got at the discount store before we move thinking i'm gonna do all this cleaning with this stuff we bought Five dollars. Five dollars. Isn't that crazy? We went through one. We still have a whole nother one. Okay. That's it in here. Back to my kitchen. I have to figure out trash can usage. We have our small trash can right here. Remember this one? The mini size one is actually working out good, but I don't know if I like it open in my kitchen, which the other one we used to have that round one. Remember I got that one. That was okay for some reason. I don't know. We used it for a little bit. This is just a little bit more. They could use this out in the garage. Um, so I think this is gonna go to the garage. I'm gonna get a different one. They had a little bit, this company had a little bit bigger one with the motion sensor. The kids are like, get the motion sensor. So we're, we're gonna try that. And then um, the big one is just sitting out the door. So I have something big, I just throw it out there. So I just need to see if I need more trash bags. So now after looking through my list, it's a little bit messy. I don't mind rewriting this on a piece of paper. I'm looking at my list going, there's a few things I need to change on. There's a funny when you type things up and then you like miss something completely. Even our, our chore list, I'm like, in my head I wrote down a few things, but I obviously didn't put it on paper because I was like, that chore got missed. So what I will do is, what is this one? Okay, I'm just gonna write it on paper here and see, um, because I don't need that much stuff, that much. Let's see how much we come up with compared to like normal. Okay, I had to go through ponytail. It's amazing what humidity will do to your hair. So now what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm looking up between Sam's Club and Walmart, like things that I don't normally buy. Like I need to get, there's just water I put in my hair. Their hand sanitizer. Let's see, I'm assuming Walmart is cheaper, but not always. So let's see, it might be better. I need like the refill. Okay, there you have Purell is 748. I don't really need a name brand one. Walmart's got it cheaper. Walmart's got a big bottle for five dollars 588 okay so i'll write that on my walmart list that's good so instead of like your price comparing is what you're basically doing. So I'm looking up what are the price of eggs because eggs are uh, a lot everywhere. And I think I got them. Do they have the box there? I want to go to, oh, they don't even have it. <laughs> I want to go to one of their, that's a bummer. That's funny. I wanted to go to the one that I don't normally go to because um, the one in Bradenton, because that's where I normally went. And then they didn't have certain things, so I discovered the Sarasota one, and they had other stuff there that the other one does not have. So let's see, like eggs. Let's see this, the one in Sarasota. Oh, it doesn't even have it, do they? They don't have a box of eggs either. Hmm. Everybody's low in stock. Okay, so we might be low on our eggs now. But maybe when I go shopping, they'll have them in. 
so I guess I'll kind of see. I'm not going to go shopping like tomorrow at all. Eggs, Ugh, $10. I guess the 60 count is $10. It's crazy. Okay, so I'll see. I'll see when it gets closer. I'm not going to do um, my shopping tomorrow because I still have a lot of fresh veggies, which is good, and we still have milk. So that usually determines a factor of like, do we go? Do we not? We just keep pushing along. Usually I go like last week, which I did. I got a few extra things, mind you. So I probably will just wait until next week and do the shopping. I won't need that much, which will be really good. And then I can get fresh veggies in that because we have a lot of fresh in there. I like doing, I do like doing once a month and getting everything. That's awesome because I'm set for the month. But then the last month we did a lot of in between because it was like Easter and it was a birthday and all these things. And it was nice getting like a few extras like in there, like extra fresh veggies, you know what I mean? Instead of having that in there versus just being frozen and canned. So we'll probably do a little bit of that. We'll see how the time goes. So let me keep looking. Did I leave you? Hello. Hello. I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, where is Maxine at? Hello. Me out there. There's like, we have a pile of like um, some uh, bricks outside and there's like lizards living in there. So she's just having a field day over there, digging away, getting things. So, okay, let me keep doing. So I've got my list done. It's not a whole lot on here. I just ordered from Sam's Club. You can't get the Miracle Whip in a big thing. You can't get the um, hot sauce in a big thing. So I just had that delivered here. The toilet paper, last time I ordered it was same price. It's not same price today. So it's like you pay an extra dollar fifty. So I'm like, I'll just get that in the store. So it's good. I've got a smaller list. This would be all I would need for the month. So I'll probably wait. My Aldi is very small. So will I even bother to go there? Probably not. It just depends on if I'm in the area or if I have like, you know, nothing else to do and run in. Someone told me about the trellis for my plants. They said they're there this week. I just don't know if I really will go there this week. We'll just have to wait and see. But I can always do like, we have an Aldi in our town, like right by us, where I can always run in there next week um, and then get like all my milk because milk takes up a lot of cart space and get like all my milk because it's not too far from home to get that kind of stuff and then get the little bit that I can get there. And then Sam's, I'll have to head to the different Sam's and get most of my stuff. And then when I'm in the store, if they don't have what I need, I'll probably run to the other Sam's. You just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when you're shopping. I just know that I enjoy going to the other Walmart. So I was like, wow, they have like so many things that like the normal Walmart does not have. So this is done. I have this now. This means I can go shopping anytime that I need to get it. There was an Amazon order I have to order, what I have to get from Amazon. Girls deodorant, the secret deodorant is cheaper. If you get the coconut one, I'm aluminum free. We have to get filters for our house that I'm like, I was like, why is my order so big? <laughs> Cause you're spending $60 in filters. You need filters. And then um, I need more plastic containers. So I placed, I'm gonna place an order because I went, I keep going, oh, forget it, oh, forget it. And then I put them in plastic bags and I'm like, if I just had plastic containers, that would be better. So I just ordered more, the 16 ounce and the eight ounce ones. Those are about the size that we use. I don't really use the taller ones so much just because I don't have that much stuff usually to freeze it smaller, it usually works better. So I will get that and then we'll be set and then we'll be able to do shopping when we, uh, next week when we have time. I could do it this week, but I just don't, like I said, I've got a lot of veggies and stuff to use up. So I am going to put this stuff away. I'm gonna take my main list up to my office, set it in front of my desk so I look at it and go, okay, fix this on here because there's a few things on here that are completely wrong and I need to have fixed. And then I'll be done here. We'll make food for the day, school, life, all the things we have to do in a day to run your household. And then looking at our um, little taco, the little taco bowls, I think we're gonna have the taco bowls for dinner. So I have to go get a hamburger out so we can cook that. So it's gonna be a great day. So we're in between doing some stuff, school, life, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna put these together for tonight. Tonight's a dinner where everybody's kind of out of the house at different times, so I'm gonna get dinner done early so it's finished because I have to leave as well. So we're gonna do these little tortilla boats. I'm gonna make basically tacos. <laughs> That's it, so I've got refried beans. They're frozen, they're gonna go in here. I've got some hamburger I'm gonna cook and then I'm gonna do rice because we do like rice in ours. So I'll cut up some lettuce. We've got, I'll probably shred some cheese. Easy meal. We're gonna do something easy. <laughs> the chalupas, I know. Chalupas, I've been waiting for these for tacos. I should not be using these for pizza, but I am today because I ran out of milk, so there was no, we thought we'd have cereal for breakfast. There is, there was only Jensen's milk, nobody else's milk, so we um, didn't have anything. I didn't make anything. There were some bagels I pulled out of the freezer. That's what we used. Gotta get a little bit, a little bit better on my game. Pizza's right here, and we've got the pizza squeeze, and I've got some cheese here. They're gonna make pizzas for lunch easy.
Okay, the thing about tacos, the cupboard's open, don't mind that, is they cook really easy and there's not a whole lot to it. So I just took, um, I have those little glass jars of onions and peppers. I have a lot of those. And so I just took one and kind of thawed it so I could put it in there and put it in my taco meat. The rice is boiling and the refried beans are there. This will be good because it'll be done because I have, like I said, we're going to have to leave and head out the door. This is something we can um, let cool, put in the fridge, and then if everybody comes home tonight and it is around, they can all have their own food. So I'm going to do cheese. It's funny not having shredded cheese like in a bag in the house. You use so much less cheese. We really do. I think of like all the cheese we bought before and how convenient it is to like, oh, put cheese on it. And so if you don't have it, you're not using it that much, which is kind of an interesting thing. So this gets a lot of use. So definitely love this. I'm going to put it on my countertop here. Just got to suction it to the counter. And then, oops, and then we'll do this cheese. So for my taco meat over here, I just opened these up. This has taco seasoning in it and taco sauce. So it's got everything. So I'm just gonna add this to my meat over here. Easy dinners. This is pretty much all cooked. I'm gonna put this in here. I do make my own, but I'll use a free packet of stuff. I mean, it wasn't free, but you know what I mean, scissors. Easy and done. The taco meat is here, the beans as it sits, it'll just melt that down and the rice is good. And so dinner's done, this is a good thing, it's finished. Leave these out, we'll do the sauce and then our pizzas are done. Yeah, they are pizzas, the chalupas are really good. Basically it's like a, oh they're kind of, they're nice and like fluffy. So this is it. I've also got out some veggies right here and then we have fruit as well, the watermelon and the mush, mush melon, or whatever you want to call it. The green one, those are out, we'll have those for lunch. Okay, it's super windy outside. Greg just came home for lunch and our pizza oven had blown like across the, the patio a little bit. I'm like, that is crazy. So very fierce winds outside. So we are, um, can you hear those wind chimes going? So we are done with our stuff for the day, which is awesome. I had a few extra things I wanted to take care of and do. We got, we're doing outside like our patio furniture things like that i've got some chairs got some new reclining chase lounges things like we got new lights all these kind of things to do so one of the things we have are pool vacuums and they just kind of sit out cords are laying all over the porch not very good so we thought how can we like disguise these or how can we put these like in a place that it's not like out of the way because we constantly go out there for the pool it's like we want to keep the vacuums right there because it's just easy to go in versus put them in the garage and taking them out so we got one of those patio um deck boxes like we have we have one for pool supplies we have one for um just outdoor stuff that we um, put up against the the fence you saw so we got another one and we thought we'd put the vacuums in it and then be able to greg city like drill a hole in the bottom so we could put the cord through that so then it'd be all closed in and not get wet. So I'm gonna work on putting that together this afternoon. I've got a bunch to do, but I'm like, let me just do one thing. One thing will be good to mark off my list. So we got it put together. I had to have Jensen help me. I was like, the, the 
the lid. It was said, put the lid on first. I'm like, how am I going to screw in the pieces? So I'm thinking, I need to screw in the pieces first. All the directions. It says put the lid on first. So I had him go inside the box, and then he, um, the one side wanted to bend in a little bit, so he just pushed it out, so I was able to push it down, and we got it. And then I said, hey. And then I was trying to figure out the little side things. My brain does not work like that mechanical. His does. So he was able to help me put it together. So this is great. So we got this one. We got the same one that we got the tall one stand up against the fence. So after seeing this, I got gray because our house is more gray. We do our old pool box. We got brown because that's all they had was brown. Um, at the time we moved in here, we needed to store something. We got it. So I'm thinking to put this out along the fence where the other stuff is and put the brown one up against the house that we can put the pool vacuums in because this one looks a whole lot bigger than that one. So I'm gonna take it outside. It's crazy windy blowing like crazy, like crazy. I probably won't even bring my camera. I'm afraid it'll fall. And then um, switch out the two, I think. Okay, welcome to the outdoor world. Everything's just crazy blowing. So I'm thinking over there, should I take you over there? <laughs> Let me take it, it's gonna be hard. See how we have the brown one? It's gonna be really loud. The brown one and the gray one. I'm thinking the brown one up here and the gray one up there. can hear me. This one's a whole lot bigger. So let me put the stuff in here. This one definitely much bigger. I thought I had the same size, but I guess not. But much bigger and better construction. That one just is flip up cheapy, whatever. So this is good. So I'm going to put this over there. I don't know if I'll try to bring my camera up. I just don't want to get blown. The pizza oven's in the way because it's so windy out here. It's like a hurricane. It's crazy how windy it is. So that's good because it's gray like the other one on the top. So that matches windy gray out here more than brown and black. Black is what we got. I thought it was gray. Some of the things like our furniture, some of it is the wicker wood brown. It's just whatever they have. So this I'll stick over here and put my vacuums in because you can see cords are just sticking on the ground everywhere. So I was going to put it under the window there is where I'm thinking. So it's not in place the towels. Yeah, let me do this over here. Okay, that is one project I want to get rid of. So it's picks the vacuums up. That's a good thing. The one I have to have, so I have to have Greg send a hole in the back, just like a butterfly drill. He, I could do it too, but he said he'd do it. And then the cords will go inside. So we have our, we have weird outlets. They like come out. I know you can just replace them. They're weird, these protective things, you know, protect them from rain. But like you can't put any timers in there. You have to have like the little extension pieces, and then you have it hanging over there. So this way we have the, our lights and then um, the cord can just go in there and that'll work out having everything protected from the rain. Our little seat here, we've got some furniture coming. We're just waiting for our, our like furniture set. This will probably put up in the front, but now we've got that over there. I think that's gonna be good. Pretty windy. Oh my goodness, it was so windy outside. So windy, <laughs> like it's crazy windy. So that was something that's been sitting in my living room here for a week. I'm like, I gotta get outside, but I'm glad because like I said, when we moved here, we just got black. Cause like our chairs were black, which already, you know, pretty much ruined from the, the Florida sun. And um, then they didn't have like gray. They didn't have those colors. It was black or brown. So we chose black for our one. So having a little sh quote unquote shed thing out there in the gray with the darker gray on top, I'm like, that's good. And then now the other gray one is great because then it holds a whole lot. because so we can put all our extra pool stuff in there, which is nice with the nice open up and down. And then we'll just put that black one up by the house, gray can drill a hole in it, and then we can put the vacuums in there. So the one vacuum probably have to go on its side so it fits with the cord, which is fine. It doesn't matter either way. Either way to keep it uh, in and out of the rain. So it's gonna pour rain this afternoon. We're supposed to have a really bad storm and I guess it's like so crazy blowing here. <laughs> So I'm done for today. I'm going to close today's video because the rest of the afternoon I have to edit and then the kids have a uh, thing to go to tonight. So we are busy for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, don't grow weary. Keep pushing forward. Patience, patience. I know, so hard. <laughs> I will talk to you again tomorrow and we'll have another video. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.